Hi and welcome to the Pyro Education playlist here on my YouTube channel. Um, I'm going to be creating several different videos over the course of the next couple of months or years, however often I get to it. I'm just going over some really beginner type of information about how to use up shows or how to design your shows, things like that. Um, I'm certainly by no means an expert in the field, but it's a passion of mine and um, I've been blessed to be in Kansas City with part of KCAP and gotten to participate in quite a few shows, so um, just wanted to pass the information along and hopefully you find this um, playlist and series of videos educational and it helps you guys with your shows as well. Um, so the first couple of videos I'm going to cover that I'll be making today will cover just how to use up various types of items. Um, anywhere from Roman candles to the larger size candles, fountains, single shot tubes, um, lamp pots, strobe pots, all sorts of things, anything else that I can think of it. Um, and then probably go over just quickly how to do cakes as well. Um, a few things, just safety wise as we go through any of these videos, um, since I'm doing this indoors. Um, this is what would appear to be quick match, however it is just the shell of quick match. There is no actual fuse in there, um, so no worries about that catching or anything. Um, this here, which I'll be using as my E-match, is an I-match, so an I-match is something that is consumer legal, something you could order online, something that does not require um, ATF storage or anything like that. It's a little bit more expensive than eMatch depending on if you have a, a source of eMatch that you can get in your license and everything. eMatch is probably cheaper um, but this comes with a lot less red tape. Um, however, it's still as dangerous as eMatch in terms of spontaneity. Um, so while there's a very low chance that eMatch would have anything go wrong, static electricity or friction can occasionally set them off and there are stories of that. So to reduce any risk we have here while I'm in my basement filming these videos, um, I have gone ahead and removed the match head on this. This is just wire in here. So there's absolutely zero chance of anything I'm doing setting this off. And then of course for the talon that I will be using, um, there's no risk there. There's nothing that's going to be passing current through this, nothing that can ignite that filament. So, um, safety information out of the way, I hope you guys find this video series informative, I'll try to do some maybe out in the field sometimes too when I'm setting up, um, give you guys an idea of that. Some other things that I've got bounced around my head that I want to go over is um, just some safety considerations, some things to keep in mind when setting up, along with distances, um, and then maybe talk about some real high level, just give you guys some ideas of, of different ways to set up shows. Um, so I hope you enjoy it, and um, keep watching for the next video. Thanks.